Welcome back to Caesar 3 and we are here on part 3 of Londinium and this is the wealth gap city with the rags to riches challenge tents only and luxury palaces only and in the last part we got up to 12 stable luxury palaces and 5,000 population so we're gonna have to double our population and maybe get even more luxury palaces so we've got a lot to do so let's go ahead and get things started all right, guys, I'm really excited for part three because although we had some some difficulties of in, in the last part with that riot, which uh, came through here and wrecked some stuff and destabilized my housing, uh, there's a few things that I do want to actually get going. And uh, I'm just going to shift a few things around here. And I'm going to start by putting a gatehouse right here. Making sure it's not touching this warehouse by putting a small statue right there and preparing for another another palace block. So we're gonna need, let's see, four tiles? Yeah. We're gonna need one, two, three, four, maybe a gap of two, and then one, two, three, four. This can be another row of luxury palaces. Basically another one of these over here. Uh, meanwhile, our money is finally doing well. Finally. Oh, so how much? Let's let's do another block here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to have this here. One, two, three, four. And I'm just going to get a whole bunch more tents going. Because that's going to be important. We need to boost our population. Let me clear off some of this. Yeah, good, good. I'm gonna need to clear off that. Okay. And we're gonna start getting many of these blocks going. We need lots of them. Uh, so, basically each one of these blocks can hold a thousand people. Um, and these are holding 200 each. All right, 200 each. So we probably need nine of these. So we got five here. I'll probably put four right over here. So let's just make some space for it. I'm going to clear off these trees right here. And we can get four. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Leave some space there. Clay pit suffered. Uh, yeah, we can have one right here. One, two, three, four. And we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So this is going to be another couple blocks. And we need one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that correct? Six tiles between. Oh, wait, no, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right, I miscalculated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this is actually supposed to be here? Yeah, that's probably right. One, two. Does that look correct? I think so. Yeah. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just because we are prioritizing the luxury palaces doesn't mean uh, we can't be a little nice and have symmetrical tent blocks. <laughs> now, we're gonna have another two here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's the next one there. Gonna have to clear off some trees here. One, two, three, four. So it should be up until there. There. Ah, oh, look at our money. Our money is finally being where it's supposed to be. Get up some of this. Indigenous people getting in my way again. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's uh, try get there in time. Seems like pretty much all the invasions are coming from the northeastern side. 
This one is a little close for comfort, but I did put down a wall last time, so we should be okay. Let's get them all in the over there, and we can... I'm gonna be following the same format, so just get that there, and get that there. Okay, and we probably need four on that side, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So we're gonna have another two blocks here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like that. And all these trees can go. Yeah. All right, so that should be enough tent blocks, really. Once we get these all operational. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we're doing this. Like that. And... This. Okay, now let's deal with this invasion. Now, these indigenous people tend to not send too large invasions. But this one does seem a little bit bigger. Uh, hopefully we get there in time. Are there any invasions on the way, by the way? No. No, we're, we're actually okay. Just realize, what city is this? Oh, that's Sarmi Zegatusa. Oh, okay. So they've got three. Three... Three groups of troops. Diffid the Lesser. Charles the Mysterious, John the Pain. <laughs> Alright, now I hope they don't run straight into this wall because that would be annoying if they just suddenly started doing that. Let's let's try pull them towards us. Oh, we don't need to do that. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Perfect positioning. Javelins a little bit further back. Oh, they just sort of ran through, but that's okay. We'll let the infantry take some hits here. Ah, oh, money is skyrocketing. Very good. Did we even lose anyone? We didn't even lose anyone. Ah, oh, lovely positioning there. Fantastic. How do the people feel about me? People love me. Good. Tax rate at 12. Let's try 14%. Now, we don't want to upset people too much. But, because uh, we don't want to deal with a riot again. But let's... Go ahead and put down an engineer's post, which goes there. We're gonna need the gardens blocking that. How is health, by the way? City health is very good. Forum goes there. And just, oh wait, forgot fountains, which go here, here, and there, and the reservoir. That goes there. Aqueduct. And just slip through like that. Tent block. <laughs> uh, I should go around the world map looking at the random cities. Yeah, there's a lot here. So there's Syracuse, Corinthus, Athena, Miletus. We play on some of these, but not on all of them. Pergamum, Sinope, Antioca. Damascus, Hierosolima, Alexandria, Cyrene, Leptis Magna. Like, we don't even play on most of these cities, actually. Anyway, uh, meanwhile, all of these luxury palaces look to be stabilizing. We are maintaining our imports and exports, all looking good. We do have marble, which reminds me, I wanted to replace these oracles, which are meant to be there. Any other oracles are meant to be here? I don't think so. Uh, I wanted to boost my food production a little bit. How is employment? 63 unemployed workforce? Okay, I'm gonna clear off all of this. And replace some farms here. Let's go wheat. Let's just boost up things a little bit. Vegetable. Pigs. Right? just to make sure we do prepare for this next block. Now, all of this, I'm not sure if I want to be moving people in quite yet. 
but we will prepare for everything. So we're gonna get down these forums as well. Might as well tax the poor as well. No point just taxing the rich. Now the fountains. I'm gonna go there, 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 there. And the same for all of them. Is that employees needed? Oh, it's actually employees needed. And then we need a reservoir to go in the middle. Which can go right. Yeah. Look at that, click and drag. Nice little magic trick, isn't it? <laughs> Aqueduct. And just put a gap there. Okay, so these blocks are all prepared. Oh wait, before I forget, let's make sure... Which side are the gardens supposed to be on? Right side, so here. Two gardens there, two gardens there. Okay, to make sure there is always a way into the block. And now we can very easily populate all four of these. Ah, fantastic. Interestingly, some of those cities are the cities you play in Zeus. Oh, oh that's cool. Pharaoh himself says, equally miserable. That's right, equally miserable. Also, the doctor, we don't need doctor's coverage sort of thing. We just need a total number of doctors. So we're going to keep an eye on our city health here because we don't want it too high. City health is very good, which means people are living too long. So as these people move in, I'm gonna go ahead and prep this next area, which we're gonna need. How do we do this properly? Like that, I think. Yeah, we have a gatehouse there. And we need what? Uh, space for bazaar, bazaar, temple, library, something. So we need... Market, market. Temple. We need multiple temples anyway. So temple. Doesn't matter which ones really. Right? And then on this side we need the engineer's post. And let's uh, let's try and get people moving in somewhat soon. So the house goes straight there? Yeah. And then we have one, two, three, four. Let's not miscount it this time. Space for two. What, what do I do actually here? Space for two and then the fountain. That's right why I miscounted. One, two, three, four. Space for three. House, house. And we have small statue, small statue. And the fountains going there and there, right? Yes. And we have Dr. Barber. And then it's just random. What? Library, bathhouse, forum? Okay. And the rest of the services go at the end of the road. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. House, house. This is a little longer than it looks, but... <laughs> okay. And fountain. Yeah. Correct? I think that's correct. Oh, we only have two fountains, actually. Do we need, uh... We actually don't need that fountain if the houses are here instead. That will save some effort. And we can just spam oracles. Oh wait, the house can't be there. It has to be here. So it'll be like that and like that. Yes? Okay, good. Now let's start importing marble again. 
<laughs> uh, Sir Filikov uh, is using Zack gods. Don't worry about gods. Uh, I think the gods are all very happy. What? I mean, what is the hotkey? I can never remember the hotkeys. Um, Neptune is a little displeased, uh, whereas Mars we have one too many. Uh, we do need a Neptune temple, I guess. So just, you know, be there. Uh, just so Neptune doesn't doesn't get too angry or anything. Now, how is our unemployment of 7%? Okay, so once all of this starts working, it should be good. So as people move in, we're just gonna slowly clear off the space. Um, what's at the end of this? Academy Actors Colony. So Academy goes right at the end there. And an actor colony goes right at the end here. Now, how do I get a reservoir over here? There. I'll probably send it through here. Make another gap through the forest here. Okay, so we should be able to get six more luxury palaces. No problem, really. Plows up this whole road, plows up that whole road, because we can. Two markets should start getting all the resources we need. Wine supply, oil supply looks good. Oh right, the clay pit. I forgot the clay pit. Not that we really need it, but you know. There we go. Oh, this is this is actually a nice little relaxing part. So what what's at the end of this again? The other entertainment buildings, which is one, two, and a temple at the end. Really? I guess we don't need that temple because we fit three temples there. So we need. By the way, how are people people still love me? Okay. So we need. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we're going up to there. We're gonna be... Three. Up to there. So we have... Gladiator School. We have our... Lion House. I'm gonna have to rebuild this wall a bit. Uh, hospital. You go right there. Lion School, Lion House, and the Chariot Maker. And that should be everything. Oh, I don't have a school. I just realized I don't have a school. Oh, because I put a temple here, so... I guess I move the school there. Actually, it'll be more prudent to have the school here, because schools are undesirable. Have the series temple there. Have this expand out to there. And just stick that temple to Mercury right at the end there. I just realized the bathhouse doesn't have water access. There. It should reach, right? No employees live nearby. What do you mean? Why is no one working at this bathhouse? Isn't that... Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so now... This area should have everything that is required. Right? 
So we can just stick an oracle there as well. Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, you guys noticed there was no school. But there we go, these houses are now evolving. So besides that, we just need desirability. So how did I make it? Medium statue behind each oracle. I'm just keeping the symmetry. By the way, how's our employment? 2%? Is everything working? Everything is working. Uh, so we have medium statues behind each oracle. And then it's just gardens to one behind. Okay. So one, two, three, four. So we have a row of gardens. Like that. One, two, three, four. So this is a row of gardens, like that. And we'll need to make room for statues. How is this gonna... And then one, two, three. Do I just put statues all the way along? I do. Is it always... There we go. Okay. This reservoir doesn't have to be that close either. So actually, let me just shift that out of the way. One, two, yeah. Come on. Okay, there we go. Ah, fantastic. Now we can wait for these six to become luxury palaces. What is my prosperity rating? It's still going up actually, but we still need a lot more tents. <laughs> oh, we need so many more tents. All of this evolved. Oh right, we didn't plaza this up, I forgot. Let's plaza up the, the tent blocks, shall we? In preparation. Ah, oh, can you remember the days where we struggled with money on this map? I remember, I remember fondly. The statue is not symmetrical, I played myself. Oh, this one. It's because I put an oracle here. That's that's throwing it off. <laughs> yeah, but I would prefer the oracle to be there. You know, I'd prefer the oracle to be there. But then again, that's a little annoying, but uh, it's fine. It's fine. Now, in case rioters, I'm going to go ahead and wall this off. Try buy as much time as possible. You know, rioters could probably bust through that real quick. <laughs> but oh well, we're going for 6, 12, 18 luxury palaces. Just waiting for these markets to get everything they need. Uh, they need oil right now, which uh, we're a little low, but it's just because it's the first feeding and two markets taking up all these new resources. More people moving in. All of this looks stable. Very good. Ah, oh, that's nice. Check my food. Food's doing okay. Look at that. A few extra farms, I think, stabilize it. But again, you know, the first feeding always sort of pushes it over. Uh, the Grand Insulates. Now they just need wine. So oil has arrived. Anything gonna collapse here? No? Everything's okay? Alright. Oh, I'm so happy that this is so easy. <laughs> I'm so happy. 6% unemployment. Alright, so we're gonna have to have culture dumps after this. But we're at 6,000 people. Um, now, these luxury palaces, people slowly move in. So that's actually at 200. Some of these are at 200 people. But many are still short by 100. 
or 80 sort of thing. So yeah, these patricians tend to move in very slowly. But okay, we've got six grand insulae. Is this wine coming in here? Wine is here. So they're just gonna evolve straight up because I think they now have everything for... No? Third type of food? Come on, we, we have three types of food in this market, lady. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, and I think I see a few gaps. Six more luxury palaces. Wasn't that easy? Wasn't that easy? Ah, oh, so easy. You know, this particular playthrough where I'm doing all of these weird, weird ch Why did you just evolve? Ran out of wine. How did you run out of wine? You just got wine. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, these, these, um, these, these, this playthrough where I'm doing these special challenges, it's really opening my eyes to the possibilities of what you can do to win, right? It, it really does open up your eyes because look at this. Prosperity rating is rising. This map provides so much farmland for you to feed people. But in reality, you don't need to feed people. You just need to feed a few people. And this this principle will apply to 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 anything. To any map. Now, let's uh Let's go all out here, shall we? Bam. The four new areas now open for business. Uh, it reminds me, I need to put down gardens, don't I? I'll break that. Oh, missed the tree. Just a single row of gardens around the outside. To try and keep things a little evolved. Looks good. And I'll just put a gap in the aqueduct. There. Oh, I love it. I love it. It looks so nice. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I haven't gardened up this side, though. So let's uh, garden that up. Garden that up. Garden that up. Did I not have a house there because I have wasted so much money. Look at that. I just spent all of my money doing that. Now, I do need a culture dump actually. So I'm going to have a block here, but not for housing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that'll work. Just need an engineer's post somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Be careful I don't stagnate your dock area. Oh yeah, gotta be very careful of that. Uh, just to be safe, I will break open that garden right there. Because I know gardens tend to sometimes count as blockages but anyway look at that we've now got 6 12 18 luxury palaces and we could support so much more you know i could put another row of luxury palaces right here and it wouldn't be a problem resources are fine because luxury palaces once they have everything they need they're very easy to maintain i could just have another six no problem Just to make sure there is a road connection. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> now, employment is probably, well, unemployment is probably going through the roof here. Um, how do I want to do this? I could just have a road here. 
right? And I could do engineer's post like that instead. Oh, these gardens are technically connected, so we gotta be careful about that. Let's make sure these gardens don't actually... <laughs> you can see they're actually walking through these gardens going to these roads. So I need to break this. Can I then leave this? No, that would connect that to that. Gardens do technically count as roads. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. But they do. I'll bust that down. Okay. So now I have this road, which I can then just start spamming academies. Yeah, that's good. That's good. My forum is connected to the road via gardens. Really? This? Oh, I see. That's a problem, too. And... That's a problem, too. Okay. That should handle... Unemployment. As we now need to get some schools, probably. Let, let's, let's check what they're asking for. Culture. Too few theaters, so let us put down an actor colony and a gladiator school. And let's just get theaters down. Need some people to move in here, which they're probably not going to move in anytime soon, actually, because of the order I place things. But it's fine. <laughs> uh, this is so great. This is so great. Once you get the first 6 to 12 luxury palaces, money just flows in. By the way, how is our prosperity? It does say that we're being held back. I don't know if this is possible, by the way. I don't know if this is possible. Um, like... Maybe I need another row of... What is this? Meat is a little low? Well, let's boost up meat production. Try and keep this balanced. So maybe I do need to just have another gatehouse right there. Would this be long enough? I mean, this is quite a ways. I'm not sure if there needs to be a bend in the road at some point. Probably does, but... But we're at 8,000 people. Let's get to 10,000 people first and see how our prosperity looks. By the way, there is a maximum number of people who can move into a city every month, so... Oh, that's, that's just gonna collapse, isn't it? Those are all gonna collapse. <laughs> no one's gonna be moving in here. Oh well, it's fine, it's fine. We'll let the theaters collapse. So if I wanted to set this up, how, how would I do it? Um, I need one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's just prepare for it in case we need it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's where those are going. We just have the doctor and barber there. And then we have two temples here. Let's let's try even out our temples. Anything but Mars. Okay. Ceres. Neptune. 
We'll leave that first. There's going to be an oracle there. And then... School. Library. Bathhouse. Oh wait, these houses can't be there. Let's be one, two, three, four. There. Right. Oh, these houses aren't gonna move in until all of this stuff moves in, right? That's a little annoying, but I'm gonna speed this up. Okay, let, let's just destroy all of these houses. By the way, they move into priority of uh, which houses were placed down first. So I'm gonna clear off this area first. Because uh, we might not actually need it. But <laughs> um, so these will move in next, right? So we're gonna do that. Okay. So this row of houses will move in, then these two houses will move in, then we can uh, prep for this area to go, right? Right. Uh, what else do we need here? Forum, and then the two markets. Those are totally going to collapse. <laughs> uh, if I want another palace block, I should go for 10 farms each to feed my people. Uh, that's Governor Julio saying that. 10 farms each to feed. Um, do we really need that many? It looks like we currently need one more wheat. So one, two, three, four, five. Six. Each farm, so we have, we need six farms to support 18. Six, 12, 18. So one farm basically supports one luxury, one palace, right? Now we're gonna need at least one more of those. So we'll probably need two more of each farm. Let's just prep for that. Uh, move B. So this is two wheat, right? Engineer's post, doctors. So we're gonna go replace that. Then we're gonna need two more wheat, two more vegetables. And then two more pigs. And that engineer's post. And a couple houses just to stabilize employment. So that should be enough. I know it's a bit of a long walk, but that should be enough to support six more luxury palaces. Oh, those houses moved in, fantastic. How's our employment? 24% unemployment. People are pleased with me, apparently. Um, how about culture? Too few schools? Not a problem. Okay. Population's at 9,000, though. Isn't that interesting? Prosperity rating is rising. Okay. So maybe we don't need this many tent blocks. But we'll leave them prepared for now anyway, just in case. One farm can feed 160 people, so that's 30 farms feed 18 palaces. Yeah, but right now with fewer than those farms, our food supply is maintaining. So, you know, I'm not arguing with your math, but um, I generally go based on feel, not based on um, statistics. That's, that's what my playstyle is all about. And right now, my three granaries are full, so... Need ten of each? I don't think so. We, we currently have one, two, three, four, five, six vegetable farms. Seven vegetable farms, rather. 
and it's fine. And it was full before that, before I built two more. So we had five vegetable farms and it's fine. Your palatial blocks are not all fully moved in. Is that why? So when they do fully move in, um, they'll be eating more, I suppose. But if that's the case, we don't need the farms yet. Now, we're actually approaching 10,000 people. Too few libraries, okay, not a problem. Let's get a row of libraries. Look at all these school children. All right, so that's a bunch of libraries. More schools. Okay. How's that? Too few theaters. Well, maybe we just... We don't need that then. This is just theaters. And put one more there. Okay. So if all of these luxury palaces move in, actually, we, we would actually have enough people, right? Because this is another... 300, 600. Yeah, just these luxury palaces fit another 600. Wait, another 900, right? 300, yeah, yeah. Just these is another 900. So we, yeah, we, we don't actually need tents. So as the luxury palaces move in, as we go over 10,000 people, I will start destroying tents to push my prosperity back up. Okay, we can do that, we can do that. What is our tax income, by the way? <laughs> 20,000! Ooh, 20,000! That's pretty good. What, what's our wages like? Wages are 12,000. Do I need... I probably need more warehouses. Getting stuff, right? Go get oil, please. Go get wine, please. Pottery is doing okay. Do luxury palaces not use a lot of pottery? I guess not. But you know, to be safe, as a backup, go get pottery. Oh, the, the bathhouse actually does not take employees until there is water. I didn't know that. Oh, that's quite interesting. So all of this is now working? Yeah, that's fine. Um, did I miscount this again? No. It's supposed to be like that with the fountain there. Right, okay. <laughs> Gotta be careful about spacing. So, yeah, probably I do need to... Really? We're under attack? I didn't even notice. So we have space for more luxury palaces if we need them. Uh, besides that, we are just sort of waiting for... for the patricians to move in. We need more theatres? Too many academies in it. That's ten academies is a thousand young people. That's perfect, really. I suppose in that case, I convert these blocks to not be tent blocks, but to be. Let's just put an actor colony right here. Theater blocks. Okay. 
<laughs> uh, I should begin to delete some small tents. I won't delete more tents until... Uh, oh, you mean these small tents. Right, right. That, that makes sense. Uh, but I don't want to be deleting tents quite yet until um, I actually cross 10,000 people. Now, can someone tell me, when it counts prosperity, does it just count the number of houses or does it count the actual population living in them? So, for example, this has 200 people living in this luxury palace. This one has 95. So is this one counted as half the amount of prosperity because only half the amount of people are living there? So is prosperity counting the number of population in type of houses or number of houses? That, that's something I'm never quite too sure about. If I read the chat, it, it's already there. I can't always keep... Oh, Zandrintia said, if prosperity does not calculate buildings but people. So... Governor Julio says number of houses. Okay. Tom Na says population. See, I'm not, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Lizzy Duck, the answer to that question is no. <laughs> uh, a resounding no. So we're going to be attacked, what month? April? Okay. So March, I'll move my troops out. Just in a little preparation. So right now, it's just kind of a waiting game. Um, is there any way to speed up luxury palace people to move in? I don't think so, but uh, just thought I'd ask. So, one, two, three. No problem, no problem. One, two, three, four. Um, can't do. So we can fit this, but then. It's a little cramped, so we gotta get rid of these trees, I think. Right? Yeah, we gotta get rid of these trees. And keep it looking a little natural there. And we have to, one, two, three, four, bend the road. So it extends out this way for any further services that we require. Okay. And then the reservoir. We have to kind of stick back here. What am I doing? I don't need to do this. There's water right there. <laughs> oh well. I'm doing it now. Alright. I can't aqueduct over... Well, resources look good, so I guess I just put down the markets, right? Might as well, at this point. How's employment? 3% unemployment? Oh, I actually got that. Oh, look at our culture. <laughs> Okay, culture's there. Uh, favor is low, so I think I will just start sending gifts. I'm not paying myself any salary right now. This is, you know, I could have, but I'm not. But you know, I just don't want it to carry over. I hate carrying over money to the next... Uh... Oh, right, we did just send pottery, right? One more request should do it while we wait for 10,000 people. So it's January now. March, I do want to move out my troops just so we can try intercept them a little bit quicker because our troops now have to walk around all sorts of places. That's fine. So this should get our prosperity up to where it needs to be, right? It should. Six more luxury palaces. 
speeding up the game will speed it up, but I don't think that's what I meant. No, no, no. So there's no way to, to encourage more patricians to move in. Look, we're like one of the most cultured cities in the world. Surely rich people want to move here. <laughs> you know, the view into the city is a little unsightly. But once you get beyond the aqueducts and walls, it's a lovely place to live. Plenty of food. Oh, actually, maybe not that plentiful. Now, what is this? That's meat. Oh, right. So we actually want to shift some of these. Uh, instead, have... Is this wheat? Yeah. Because the wheat farm is a bit further, so we want to reorganize this a little bit. Yeah, these farms are actually too far. So it's not very efficient. But that was the... This was two market ladies taking all the wheat, right? It was just one? Really? I guess I'm gonna need more farms, right? Vegetables, wheat... Just gotta keep an eye on this. We are feeding a lot of rich people right now. Wait, when is the next... I thought the enemies were supposed to attack by now. Enemies at the door was April. Oh, it's not a one-year warning? I forgot, but, you know. We should be attacked soon, right? Could I fit more farms between the farms and the palaces? You know, I could. This is four tiles, right? One, two, three, four. It is. So actually... Okay. April, May. Oh, okay. End of the month. It is one year. Where are they coming from? There. Perfect. That should be good. Yeah, just sit right there. Okay, let's deal with these guys. This is an actual invasion. So you want to try be prepare. This isn't just some indigenous natives getting a little upset. If I could lure some in a little bit quicker. I know this formation performs a little better. So let's just try pull a few people right now. Okay, they're gonna go through that, but hopefully they then come for my troops, right? <laughs> yes, yes, okay, don't actually destroy the wall. Oh, they took out a corner, but then, okay. Wonderful, wonderful. I timed it perfectly. A little bit by accident, but... Oh. One guy escaping, Soul Survivor. Who is it? Wayne of Call. Wayne of Call. Congratulations, you survived. Did we? We lost one javelin, one legion. Really, our losses were so minimal. Wow. That's good. <laughs> uh. Oh, these are evolving. Oh, no entertainment, right. Okay, right. Let, let's solve our food problem first. Uh, so I need to get rid of all of these trees here. Right? Right. And I'm gonna have a road do this. Coming up through there. 
And I'm gonna need like some houses right along here. And I need to... Oh. Okay, I need to get rid of that. Hook this up. And then we just need... health have suffered. How is our health, by the way? City health is poor. Okay. Uh, let's just have another doctor. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't cause a plague. That would be a bit annoying. Not the worst thing in the world, but... There, we got all that working. Out. Are we actually short on employees? We might actually be short on employees. So I'm just gonna... No, not that. Just put a row of houses right there. Because if the patricians are moving in, they're not gonna be... Well, then again, our culture is higher than it needs to be. So I probably don't need those houses, right? What is this engineer walking to? Oh, right. That's a bit of fun. These gardens still acting as roads. <laughs> okay. If I need people, I'll destroy an academy or two. All right, so all these farms will start functioning soon enough uh, once those two houses move in. Now these need... Um... Now, besides that, food looks okay. Is this... These markets aren't taking everything. So we need entertainment. Um, okay, so what goes on the end here? Academy, the entertainment buildings, hospital, and a temple. Great. Academy, so one, two, three, four. Academy. Actor colony. Gladiator school. Lion house. Chariot maker. Hospital. Hey, what was that? Okay. And the temple to Venus. And that should get us six more luxury palaces, right? <laughs> Pretty much, right? Yeah. That is that. Is that employees needed? Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, that solves that problem. <laughs> then scatter a few oracles around. Okay. That's good. We can have an oracle. We don't need an oracle then. I can't believe we're actually making this work. I don't think I've ever made this many luxury palaces, by the way. Like, ever. This is a little annoying, but it's fine. That still looks good. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, this, this works, this works. 
Oh, right. The medium statues here and here. And then the rest are filled with gardens. No, not that. That. Okay. Six more luxury palaces on the way. All these farms are probably working. Short by 144 employees. You know what? Let's get rid of those. No employment problems. We'll probably drop our culture a bit, but... <laughs> ah, that's, that's looking good. That's looking good. Joe Money says, Any new games come close to Caesar 3 Pharaoh style of games? Not really. Uh, Lethis tried. Lines in chat did say Lethis tried, but... They ran out of money, and I think the de some developers ran away. So they, uh, it's not, no, it's not good. Bald Fat says, I wish we could get a remake of all of these games with just graphics and UI fixes. Yeah, I mean, I would be happy if they took Emperor, Emperor, and just made more themed games with Emperor. Any new city building games where the missions are like in Caesar 3? Not really. Not really. Anyway, it looks like these are coming down. They're all evolving. No supply of wine yet. Okay, so we do have two warehouses of each. All of these new farms should be keeping up the food supply. How many do we have of each now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, only nine vegetables? Oh, ten. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have eleven pig farms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Huh. I actually have one too many pig farms. Oh well. There's uh, six more luxury palaces. Bam. Easy. No problem. I wonder, what, what does it say here? 25,000 now? Okay. People still love me. Fantastic. So that's going to boost my population up to 10,000 and boost my prosperity, culture. Favor needs a little bit of a push, but uh, I guess I could... How long has it been since I gave a gift? I don't know. Send a gift. It's been 16 months. Okay, so I could send gifts to boost my favor up if no requests come through. But here we go. 6, 12, 18, 24 luxury palaces and just tents. Oh, I've never done this. This is great. This is great. Londinium, the wealth-gapped city. The rags to riches challenge. Then again, it shouldn't be called the rags to riches. It should be the rags and riches challenge, right? Because it's not its not the poor people evolving up to the patricians. It's not the plebs becoming patricians. It's not zero to hero here. It's zero and hero. It's two separate people. <laughs> zero and hero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not zero to hero. Um, Hercules can go home. Uh, making a lot of money though. Employees needed? Yeah, you know, our census probably shows... Yeah, see all these people above 50, they don't work. Short by five employees, that's fine. I mean, I could bring in more people, but I'm kind of waiting for prosperity to go up here. And you know, just in case, I'm going to just save the game right there. Because this, this is a fantastic sample of something I've never done. I've never had this. In my original playthrough, I think the most luxury palaces I got was 13. And here's 24. Pretty much double. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. <laughs> oh. So we're just slowly waiting for more patricians to move in. And as our population crosses 10,000, if we still need more prosperity, we start deleting... Um, we start deleting the, uh, the tents. Starting with these small tents. Okay, let's, let's just notch the speed up a bit here. Because we're at 99.80. It says our prosperity rating is rising. I don't know by how much. 
Now we did just save, and we are shot by a few people. So I guess uh, we could do with a bit more population just to keep things going, right? Speed things along. That'll push us past 10,000. Oh, there we go, there we go. And our city looks pretty much like that. Within the walls. So we got 10,000 people. I think prosperity only goes up at the end of every year, right? Right? That's... Rats have been discovered. That's fine. How's our health? City health is poor after rats. Yeah, yeah. So only at the end of the year does prosperity go up, I think. So November, December, January. 67 and it's still rising? Okay, you know, I'm just gonna send a gift to Caesar here. Boost my favor up. What was that? Employees needed. Didn't we bring in a bunch of people? 100... Ah, oh, people are getting old. Is that culture still... Our oh, culture has... Yeah. Culture dropped a bit as well. Uh, you know, instead of adding more people, let's cut back on industry. You know, we don't need all of that. We can probably cut back on these as well. Yeah, we don't need those. Am I completely overproducing food here? Yeah, I did have one too many, you know, is wheat the only one that's not moving? Yeah, let's get rid of wheat farm. That should, yeah. Because I don't want to boost my population because that is going to just boost up the the culture requirements. Now let's go another year and see if prosperity hits its target. Population is ticking up. Is it? Yeah, employees needed. That's fine. Yeah, I think we, we actually have, for now, too many farms because the luxury palaces are not fully populated. Are these even populating? Oh, they are. They are slowly populating over time. Now it's January. Prosperity 73. Okay, that's very good. So now, what we want to do... I'm just going to get rid of all of these farms. And then slowly take out these. Dropping our population back down to 10,000. And also boosting our prosperity. So we need our city to be considered more prosperous, so we're kicking out the poor people. Oh, a bit much. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. So that might be able to take our prosperity over. And what do we need? Academies? Uh, perfect. Amphitheater. Sparse. I don't think I've ever seen sparse before. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Now, is there anything else we could cut back on? We could cut back on furniture production there. We can probably cut back on a couple meat farms and vegetable farms and replace that wheat farm because that's actually looking a bit low now. Okay, good. We'll add more farms there if we so need it. Uh, I'm going to cut back on more pottery production, really. Yeah, let's get rid of that too. You know, we don't need the military academy either. Short by 14 employees. We don't need that. Anything else we don't need? We need all of these. Okay, so now we're just gonna go one more year and see if our prosperity hit its target. Our clay pit. Is this still too much? You know, it's fine, it's fine. Let's go to the next year. Oh, our population is going up even higher. 
That is all patricians though, right? Yeah. But we can still knock back on a few of those. Yeah. That looks good. Employees needed, did I? Eh, just a bit, that's fine. Let's go over to the next year. Food supply is looking good. It dips down a little bit. What is that? Vegetables? December, January. Prosperity is where it needs to be. <laughs> ah, so we just need a bit of culture. So. Oh, we crossed the year, but people didn't become old? Or did a lot of old people die? I can't tell. But, if that's the case... We just need some academies. Let's put down an academy. And... Uh, stop producing so many weapons. No, I don't need that. Just so this is actually sort of stabilized, I'm gonna turn off exports. We can keep exporting weapons and timber. Yeah. Turn off the pottery exports, because we don't really need the money. And then we just keep an eye on our culture. It's asking for academies. Maybe two more academies. How many how many academies do we need? How many academies do we need? Delete the forums? No, we can't stop taxing the poor. We have to keep taxing the poor. <laughs> 71. Are these functioning? Academies take up a lot of employment though. Really? I boosted up academies, but it's still... You know, maybe amphitheaters is the way to go. Going from sparse... I'll just put down amphitheaters instead. And have that gladiator school. Oh, that, that is a little annoying, isn't it? Uh, let's just clear this block off. Uh, actor colony. Gladiator school. If I can spam amphitheaters instead, they take far fewer people for a number of amphitheaters. Amphitheater is now good. Governor Julio says, get perfect coverage for religions, theaters, and schools, and I'll be okay. Really? Religion, theaters, and schools? Okay. If Governor Julio says so, we're gonna do that. Um, so, let's see. Schools, very good. Very good is not good enough. So, then we need theatres. And then you guys also say religion. Now, I don't know how many how many temples do I need to get perfect religion coverage at 10,000 people. Probably a lot, right? Probably a lot. Ten each? Is it ten each? Short by 103 employees. Are there other industries we can just... I'm just gonna stop industries, I think. Yeah. How's our library coverage? Do we have too many libraries? 
It's very good. I knock one off, but it's fine. Oh, food is suffering here. Jeez, we need to get we need to get that. Oh, culture's at 74. Okay. So we got perfect theater. What did you guys say again? I need 21 oracles? Wait, do oracles... Do oracles count towards culture? Zandrinthios says only problems are academies as far as I can see. This lies. <laughs> do oracles count towards culture? I had no idea. Um, but we got perfect theater. Schools are excellent. Ah. I just need more schools. How many children do we have? Um, if we look here, 35 schools ed educates 2,625 children. It doesn't tell you how many children you have. I don't know, let's just try get schools to perfect. Okay, schools are now perfect. These mechanics are awfully intransparent. Yeah, yeah, it's annoying. So, okay. Schools are now perfect. Theatres are now perfect. Really? Do oracles count towards... religion? How many oracles do I have? I have 29 oracles. I already have way too many oracles. I don't think they count. I've only got six of each temple, but I think if I spam some temples here. Temples don't take a lot of employees, so it's fine. Right? Oh, there we go. There we go. Now, this city is totally not stable because food is a little shaky. Food is a little shaky. But. Zandrinthio says, not if your academies are below average. Yeah, but it's not always best to go for academies because academies take 30 people each academy. Uh, so, you know, spamming theatres instead to get that to perfect. Theatres take eight people each, you know? So you could spam eight, 16, 24, 32, like four theatres in exchange of one academy. Or I could spam temples, which take two employees each. So if I get 10 of each temple, that's 20 each uh, god times five, that's a hundred temples, a hundred people rather, working at the temples, which is like three academies you know I need one more favorite yeah that's the only reason why I haven't won so guys 6 12 18 24 luxury palaces and the rest are tents 10,000 people and our prosperity is higher than it needs to be we could knock out a few people if we wanted to do that but let's just send a gift a Pharaoh's burial mask Dispatch the lavish gift. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, victory! Let's go ahead and accept promotion. By Jupiter! The savages of Britannia have never seen the likes of Londinium. Claudius the god, who showed those islanders the edge of Roman swords so long ago, is surely smiling on us. By Jupiter indeed. Now, to be fair, there's a lot of uh, savages right outside our city walls, which are our own people living in those tents, which do not have food and 
They have water, they have water, so there's at least that. But <laughs> there we go, that is the end of Londinium, the rags and riches challenge in a wealth gap city of tents and luxury palaces only. Ah, anyway, if you are watching on YouTube, you can have a look at the next two missions here. Looking at it, we've got Massilia, a peaceful province, and Lindum, an extremely dangerous province. If you're watching on YouTube, you can click the buttons on the screen right now to go to those missions. Otherwise, do go back and check out the military or peaceful counterparts to all of the previous missions. And that's going to be it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.